just down the road at the Etihad at the Manchester Derby. It finished nil-nil, didn't yes, it? Yes, we've got a great show lined up. Firstly, performing his ode to Manchester Derby song live in the studio, it's comedian Matt Hudson. <laughs> Woo! I do love that chord. My favourite chord as well, Matt. Thank you very much. Uh, now, he's an extremely, extremely talented comedian, impressionist. He's also a very content United band. It's Al Foran. <laughs> also, former Man City and England fullback and the 2012 Celebrity Master Chef runner up, it's Danny Mills. Part, but just guessing from that reaction. A little bit of a divided yeah. pub there, I think. Uh, now, loads, loads coming up <laughs> in the show, including Andros Townsend, who talks us through his goal of the month. For the month of March, we're also catching up with Jeff Shrees. He's going to be at the Etihad. That's going to be exciting, yeah, isn't it? Great. And also, we want you to get involved in our Photoshop challenge. Now, there's an image here. It's a bit of a classic, Rooney. Loads of you have already been getting involved, so make sure if you're any good at Photoshop, even if you're not very good at Photoshop, take that from our Twitter page, at Soccer AM. And Al Forum will be picking his favourite three later on in the show. Mm, look forward to that. Right, the game did end nil-nil. It wasn't a classic. These were the scenes at full time. Neither manager looking completely happy with that. Pep and Mourinho having a few words there. Uh, not a result that suited either team, would he, really, was it? But um, no. we do have to talk about it. Danny, uh, quiet game until the red card. Moment of madness, really, wasn't it, from Fellaini? I mean, ridiculous. Uh, within the space of 15 seconds, got booked and then got a straight red. Yeah. He, he was lucky because he, he pushed the referee as well. He put his hand on, on Martin Atkinson. Yeah. So I think he was very, very lucky to get away with that. But it's just, he can't go around headbutting people. Al, I was watching the game with you. You were very, very nervous. I think he took a point when that happened. You can't even defend that as a United fan. That was a, no. that was a straight No, that was absolutely it. foolish. That was foolish. What was he doing? <laughs> I mean, first of all, he's fouling Aguero first, then he goes after Aguero again. He, he, he engages with Aguero. Why do that? Is he like I just sometimes I don't know what he's thinking on the pitch. <laughs> and I thought he actually played well up until then. Yeah. I actually thought he had a decent game. And then he goes and does that. You know, so it was it was frustrating. Yeah, there was only one goal in the game. It was disallowed as well, Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. Now that we've got some images here, some pictures of what happened in the pub, here's how you this lot reacted. Brilliant. <laughs> and you can see here, this is the goal, Gabriel Jesus. The city. City fans are looking Wait extremely happy. But hang on a minute. No, it's been disallowed. Oh, look at his <laughs> drink. We enjoyed that. <laughs> over there. We enjoyed that very much. Uh, Danny, the right decision? Right decision there, disallowed? Oh, definitely, without a doubt. But, I mean, if, if that had stood, imagine the stick that Flaney would have got. I think Mourinho yeah, would have absolutely point. ripped his head off. I mean, United were a little bit fortunate after that, but, yeah. Linesman got that one right for a change. Definitely. Now, in terms of Mourinho, uh, he didn't look very happy after that no. game, did he? But luckily for you guys, we've got three moments from the Premier League where he was quite light-hearted. Have a look at this. It's amazing that this one gentleman in the last row sleeping like an angel. You've had your hair cut. Your team becomes more ruthless. It's not a coincidence, is it? <laughs> and the last time I sat in this chair, the next day I was sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, you have spoken about Mourinho and the fact that he's been protecting players, protecting the squad. Let me kill the mosquito first. No. Goodbye. No? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just quickly, you've got a very good Mourinho story, haven't you? When you yeah, it was brilliant. It was when uh, Chelsea beat Man City at the Etihad 2-0. Uh, he came out after us. I was in the tunnel doing some press stuff, and he just walked over. One, I was surprised that he knew I was. But the first question he went, he just said, oh, how are your boys? I hope they enjoyed the game. My, my boys are Chelsea fans. <laughs> and he remembered them from probably two seasons earlier. And, wow. and I just thought, after doing 100 interviews, yeah. he remembered those little details. And I think that, that's what he's all about. It's all about the details and, and that... That sharp brain that he's got. Mm. Yeah, great stuff. Now, also, this is quite interesting, actually. Gareth Southgate chose not to go to the game. Maybe he had a premonition about the fact that it might not be, have been a classic. He instead was at Leeds versus Huddersfield rugby league game. Now, Laura, I, I'm not a rugby league fan, but I'm pretty sure none of those players were eligible for the England national team. No, I don't think so. Uh, Danny, what are your thoughts on that? It's Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> so he should be there as well. You know, he's an adopted Yorkshireman now. That's where he lives. Why wouldn't you go to there? Now, obviously, okay. the game did finish nil-nil, but if you think that United might have missed Pogba and Zlatan, we have something special for you now. This is five things we love about those two. 
Hey guys, Joe here, and today I'm running down my very favourite moments from the past and potentially only season in which Zlatan and Paul Pogba's paths have merged like a beautiful, beautiful eclipse. Five, the pinky promise. Kicking us off in last, but certainly not least position, is this little gem from the Thierry Henry interview with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That 50% was part gate crash and 50% was part Paul Pogba being bullied into the middle of chairs by the big Swede. Come, come, see the big players here. If you want to sit between two big players, come. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, who wouldn't do what they're told if it's Zlatan doing the telling? But anyway, the actual moment came just after, and it may seem insignificant to everyone but United fans, whose hearts would have absolutely melted when the pair locked pinkies. Four, the impressionist. Look, even top players like the Pogmeister General, who the hell wrote that, get put in their place. And it's fair to say Zlatan does that fairly regularly to the Frenchman. Every time I see him, he has to say something about my shoes, about my hair. But it's also no secret that Paul is a character, to say the least, and can give as good as he gets. What I wasn't banking on, though, is him being this good at impressions. And the way he talks to, you know? I know. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. <laughs> like, you, like... Three, you should have passed. Clearly, the two have a pretty strong connection. I mean, let's not forget that five of Paul Pogba's six assists this season have been smashed in by the big dogs. Latan couldn't see my leg there, so pointless. I think I've found the reason, though, that Pog's balls always find the feet of Latan. Remember this clip from earlier in the season? I thought you said it didn't matter who scores. Yeah, but this one you should have first. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if a man that tall with a Taekwondo black belt tells you to pass the ball, then you definitely pass the ball. I mean, just look at those eyes. <laughs> Two, the social media wind-ups. Is it all just for the Sky Sports cameras, though, I hear you asking in your homes on your sofas in the warmth? Well, it's bloody not. And Paul proved it when him and Zlat went all out Simon Cow debating who could make the other more famous. Well, this guy wants to get famous. <laughs> he wants to feature with me. He wants Come, to get I'm making famous now. <laughs> but who do you think has made who more famous? What? Pog to Zlat or Zlat to Pog? Let us know in the comments. One, Zlatan and the price tag. Finally, let's not forget that before Big Zlat bust his knee, oh God, he scored the winning goal in the EFL Cup final. Get in there. But in his post-match interview, Ibra was not a happy bunny when Paul made a little blooper about his price tag. <laughs> that's why, that's why you bought him. I'll tell you what though, best free transfer of all time? Maybe? Anyway, that's all the Zlatty Pogba goodness I've got time for. But what has been your favourite ZP moment? Who's writing this? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> later on in the show. Now, I'm delighted to say that we are now joined by some of the most famous voices in world football to give us their take on the game. First up, Jose Mourinho is with us. Jose, what did you make of the game? I think for me, a lot of people will say that I parked the bus. I did not. It was not a parking bus, Joe. It was a defensive masterclass. I think Eric Barry is fantastic. What a player. Zenod Nemanja Vidic, would you not agree? <laughs> I, no? I do agree. Uh, and if that was good enough, Rio Ferdinand is also with us. Yeah, you know. I think, you know, every content about that lesson, all right, so, you know, um, no, it was all right. I think, you know, defensively were very good. The away fans were so loud. Oh, my God, you want to hear them? That's what it's all about, shouting and all that. Fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> the pub loved a bit of Rio, but I'm intrigued to know what Louis van Gaal thought of that game. I think you know what I think about this game. <laughs> I, hey, what? Hey, 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 stop clapping. Stop clapping. What was the result last year in the Etihad when Louis van Gaal was the manager <laughs> of Manchester United? 1-0, Marcus Rashford. You can thank me later for finding him and putting him into the team. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, this is interesting, because I've heard that Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino were all sat together watching the game. 
Yeah, I gotta tell you a very interesting game. I gotta tell you. You know what? You wanna look at that Fellaini guy? Well, what's his problem? I swear <laughs> to God. He's like Joe Pesci, except he's about, he's about a foot taller than him. He wants to which wrong with him. And I'm there sitting with Robert De Niro. Well, I gotta tell you, what, what's his problem? What's his problem? He's there doing this, he's doing that, he's doing this. And then Al Pacino sees it. Al Fellaini, what are you trying? <laughs> On earth, did you headbutt him? And finally, uh, this is rather incredible, but Donald Trump was also at the game. Donald, what did you make of the game? I really thought it was a great game of football. <laughs> I got to tell you, the Premier League, all of the players want to go to China. <laughs> Guys, We're going to make the MLS still great again. I'm still going. <laughs> and it's President Trump, by the way, sir. Guys, give it up for our fun. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, congratulations to Andros Townsend, who won the Goal of the Month award for March. We sent two very excited Palace fans, Clive and Andy, to present him with the award. Andros, how are you doing? Nice to meet you guys. Andros, okay. Congrats. Thank you. Goal Cheers. of the Month. Best goal you ever scored in the league? Uh, one of them, yeah. Uh, definitely one of the best I've scored. Uh, I think the initial aim was just to stop West Brom's attack yeah. and kind of see out the win. And then, like, the space just opened up for me, and I just thought, why not? Have yeah, a go. Yeah. You know, when you <laughs> score a goal, you feel like, please, no more good goals. And the next day, Harry Kane scores from like 25, 30 yards. Yeah. But I was worried about that now, but I'm glad I've got this award, and I'm sure he's got enough of them, and I'm happy with this one. When you uh, started from the start of your box, do you think, should I go score this, or should I take it to the corner in the 84? <laughs> to be honest, the week before, I got a. I got a for doing the opposite for shooting instead of going that, to the yeah. corner. Sam. But it <laughs> yeah. kind of just opened up for me. I couldn't turn it down yeah. and thankfully I scored it in the end. <laughs> when I score, I normally like go mad and yeah, do a lap yeah. of the field and I literally just tried, but I literally just had nothing, had to fall to the floor. Who's quicker, you as well? <laughs> no, Wilf is definitely, definitely really? quicker. Yeah, definitely quicker. I'm yeah. not even going to contest that one. Fair enough. Who's slowest? <laughs> Damo, Damo. <laughs> He's got me. Uh, can't say that. I can't say it on camera. Me and Damo have turned over a new leaf. We're getting on. So I, don't want to, I don't want to put him down on camera. Congratulations there, Andros. And uh, two very buzzing fans, Smithy quite, uh, quite rightly pointed out there. Now, we've uh, time for a quick break. But after the break, we've got Danny Mills, who needs to explain a little bit about what's going on in this photo. Danny, don't not, you? Not guilty. Got a little bit of explaining to do there. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's going to be taking part in the world-famous emoji quiz against Al Foran. So we have a little, to a little tease for you guys at home. So let's know who this famous footballer is. We'll let you guys in the pub see it as well. Comment in the box below and we'll read out the answer after the break. Not only that, but Matt Hudson is going to be performing his ode to the Manchester Derby. Matthew, can you can give us a little strum? Oh, very nice. Can't wait for that season too. Welcome back to In Off The Bar. Now, before the break, we asked you to let us know which famous footballer that is represented by emojis. It is, of course, Jack Rodwell. Congratulations to Chris Reynolds and Liam D, who are the first people on Facebook to correctly guess uh, that footballer. And obviously, Al and Danny will be going head-to-head -head live at the emoji quiz. But before we do that, Al, uh, we picked this image mm. for people to get creative on in Photoshop. Yes. That was Rooney's famous goal against Man City. One of your favourites? Yeah, oh, definitely. A memorable one, no doubt. Um... Just one of the, well, probably one of the best Premier League goals ever. Yeah, definitely. Can't argue that. So these are the these are Al's favourite three, famous three, shall I say? Uh, third favourite, which one did you go for? Start off with the third favourite with Pep Guardiola hanging upside <laughs> down there. It's a, it's a great image, obviously. Uh, the whole Man City thing scored against Man City. So yeah, I like that one. A lot of United fans like that. Your yeah. second favourite Photoshop that we were sent in. Yes, the second favourite. We have it up here. Yeah, there it is. It's it's <laughs> just you know the, the the ladies here are doing their own thing and Rooney's just. I don't care. Yeah. You know, this is great. I'm loving it. You know. Very creative. But like. your favourite Photoshop image yeah. of the Wayne Rooney incident is this one. Why did you pick this one? What did you like about that? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's Titanic. It's, you know, you think of that celebrate like you think of Titanic. Yeah. Don't you really? It suits do. him, doesn't it, that? Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, and just finally, what do you think Wayne Rooney would think of that Photoshop? Um, obviously, I'd like to give a bit of trivia on Titanic in. It's grossed two billion dollars worldwide. <laughs> um, it's won eleven Oscars. Um, it was great, um, and it sinked, unfortunately. <laughs> and Leo, Leo DiCaprio was very, you know, she should she should have let him on the thing. She should have let him on the thing. <laughs> remember, remember the floating thing? She had space. Very mean, Brilliant. the Kate Winslet. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wayne. <laughs> Laura, over to you. 
thank you very much, Smithy. Now it's time for a feature which we have cleverly named Stills with Mills. It took us a really long time to think that one up. Do you like that? It's amazing. Excellent. Brilliant. Excellent. Now, in case you didn't know, this feature is all about looking at this man's career through the medium of stills. And kicking it all off uh, is this one, which we teased the break with. So, uh, can you talk us through what on earth is going on here? This is mid-match, is it? What's going on? Yeah, well, I, th I think this must have been after... Graham Pohl's disaster at the World Cup where he, you know, three yellow cards and got it completely wrong. I'm probably saying you should arrest this man. <laughs> worst, worst referee on the planet. You know, take, take him away, lock him up for, for life. Now, it looks like it's a little bit aggro, and I don't imagine that's your style, is it? Let's have a look at no, the next I mean, that's... couple of images. Just <laughs> I mean, so, so out of character. Again, out of character, character yet again. I think, I think I'm trying to be the peacemaker. I think I'm trying to stop him hitting... Uh, it, Stephen it looks Jordan like you're the mediating that very well. Yeah. I mean, there's another one just to pack up that you're that you're a really placid player. Oh, look at that one. Well, yeah, but I mean, come on. It's savage. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want to do that? In fairness, come you're on. probably living out a few people's dreams in this pub right now. Now, let's move on to the next one. Have a little look at this. Oh, it's more aggro. Do you know what? I didn't even okay, think I, I, more. Don't, don't see anything wrong with that. No, don't see anything wrong with that either. I quite like that, in fact. Now, the thing is, this next one that I know is coming up, I cannot look at. Uh, just tell me what this is all about please. Yeah, well, it's bizarre. <laughs> Bizarrely, it, it was the only time we ever beat Man United at Old Trafford. Uh, I just fell over, got up, and the referee came over and went, what's wrong? And I sort of went... And he, I, I can't remember, the referee went, ooh! And the physio ran on it. It, it was just, yeah, one of, those, one of those sad things. Not quite like Sanchez, was it, last night? Or, well, or even Aguero tonight? And it just leads us on to our next point. Do you ever, do you ever wonder whether modern-day football I are, mean, are a little bit more protected than you were? Yeah, I mean, I saw another tweet. I think there was a tweet about it. Terry Butcher, Paul Ince, you know, with yeah. blood pouring down their shirts. I mean, come on, he's got to man up a little bit. <laughs> put, put a bit of lip gloss on it. Uh, talking about manning up, um, one of your other talents is um, cooking, isn't it? I did OK. I, I, I mean, I just want you to talk me through... This is obviously a MasterChef where everybody who is taking part is a very good cook, I imagine. What on earth? That just looks like vegetables and some boiling water. What are you cooking there? No, there should be a two sautéed veg, probably going with a, a nice bit of fish, <laughs> maybe with a herb crust, maybe some langoustines <laughs> on the side. There you we know. go, it all comes out. Now, this was in 2012. Is it a touchy subject because you came runner-up and you said... I was robbed. Place, I was robbed. <laughs> Again, another, another horrendous refereeing decision. <laughs> Now, Story of my life. You are uh, a Leeds legend as well as everybody else you played. Uh, now, this is where you signed for Leeds. Talk us through what was going on here. It's one of those really awkward media days by the looks of things. F firstly, how big's the shirt? How big is that shirt? <laughs> Did you grow into that? I know, it's ridiculous. Look at that. Hey. I know, I, I, I was young then. I mean, one of those stage things. See, that's my normal personality. <laughs> I mean, it's just. That's my absolute favourite thing about this. I'm, I'm, really I'm miserable by default. I think it's that vicar. I think Next it is a vicar. Yeah. I mean, do you know anything about that? No. What no, is going I, I, on I, I here? I mean, it, it's, the, it's the strangest player sort of release, isn't it, on the Scenario. planet? Scenario. It just looks like this face here is how you really felt inside. That's, that's my life in general. <laughs> what, what a perfect way to finish off this feature. Danny, <coughs> thank you very much. We'll be catching up with you shortly. Now, very importantly and quite excitingly, Joe from the Football Daily is at the Etihad catching up with the legendary Jeff Shreve. Who's Jeff Shreve? <laughs> Catching up with Jeff Shreve, and they are discussing that uh, interesting disallowed goal. Uh, Joe, we can pass over to you now. Did either of the managers talk about the goal? Clearly offside, uh, but was there any controversy at all about that? No, um, none at all. Brilliant decision. Yeah. Uh, linesman got it absolutely spot on. Sorry, referee's assistant got it absolutely spot on. So, no. And, and in fact, when the stadium went mad, mm. Pep saw straight away, flag went up. Bang. So, yeah, no. Eyes of a hawk. And what about the sending off? Did Jose talk about that at all? Did, 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 well, because I saw there was a little bit of chat with Fellaini on the touchline. Unsurprisingly, the old chestnut of, um, I haven't actually seen it myself, oh, yeah. was trotted out. And he, he, with a smile, I'd have to add, he, he did say, I haven't seen it, but I would imagine it was mm, mainly a red card with also perhaps a very, very clever Argentinian player in there as well. Yeah, Sergio so, so, so yeah. Gray. It's safe to say he went down, but... Whether or not there was contact, there was clearly contact. Fellaini headbutted him. One one man who uh, you spoke to earlier, Vincent Company, he was up against Marcus Rashford. Obviously, a very different sort of player to Zlatan. How did he say say that sort of contest went? He was really funny, actually. Yeah. yeah real smart. Because I said to him, was it a case of your uh, wisdom and experience against his yeah. youth and pace? He said they're lightning. They're really? Lightning. He said when they're a bit older, with I mean him and Martial with a bit more nows, yeah. they'll be a real, real handful. He said so. You just had to not let them turn you. You cannot afford because once they're in behind. They're never going to catch him. Yeah, and obviously you spoke to Michael Carrick as well, a 
seasoned veteran. We heard Pep Guardiola in the midweek talking about how he's one of the best defensive midfielders of his lifetime. Uh, what did he have to say about the game? Um, he... <laughs> Here also as well, so a lot of people haven't seen the bigger picture. You've been talking about the Manchester derby, yeah. talking about the point gap between the two. Again, tonight, Liverpool. It was all about that. I asked him about it, what Pep actually said to him at yeah. the end as they came off the pitch. It was, a, it was a nice moment. He said, no, I've got a lot of respect for him, obviously, what he said about him in the week as well. You just alluded to one of the best midfield players he's ever seen. Yeah, of course. I mean, that is some compliment coming from yeah. Guardiola, who wasn't too shabby himself. Mm. I think you do have to recognise excellence when you see it. So... On that basis, Joe, I'd like to say that tonight, for your oh, performance, my gracious me, Jeff. you were the Premier League's man of the match. Thanks so much for this, guys. Jeff, absolute Bye, honour. I have to say my performance was fantastic, though, Jeff. So uh, back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> yes, well done, Joe. That was a very good performance. And thank you very much to Jeff Trees for taking time out of his day to do that for us as well. Smithy, over to you. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> right, it's time now for the pub to get very excited because we're going to play the world-famous Emoji Quiz. <laughs> Right, here's how it's going to work. Danny and Al will go head to head. Behind each card is a current or ex Man United or Man City footballer. All they've got to do is guess what footballer it is by the emoji. So here's an example, lads. Shout out, say what you see. I can, yes, we're the guy in the pub just ruined it. It is, of course, David Beckham. That's David <laughs> Beckham. So there's the example done. No help from the audience, please. Are we ready for the first I one? Don't feel free to. Okay, no. Danny now, shout out what you see as well for comedy value. First player, who is that? Man City, or, Man City or Man United? That gives yeah, it away yeah, a lot! Hurt, oh, hurt, oh. Yes? Hurt. City! City! You said that... What's his name? Jared! Jared! Danny Mills! Right, next one. Who is that? Ex-Man right. City player? Zero. Right. Oh. Uh, no help from the audience? <sighs> what is that? Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary... Yes? Ma yes? Mary... Marion Fellaini? No. No. Mary? What is that? Mario! Mario? Mario Balotelli. Mario yeah. Balotelli. Mario it's one Balotelli. All. Right, one all. Danny, <laughs> say what you see. What is that? Jacket. Coat. No. Oh, what is that? Dinosaur. Yes, it is. Shorten it down. Dino. Yes, dino. Old lady. It's a relative, that. An old relative. What would you call an old relative? Granny. Not your gran, <laughs> but your... Nan. 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 Fernandinho. 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 <laughs> Two runs out. They're absolutely loving this. Right, next one. Who is that? Say what you see. Just shout this out. You'll get it straight away. Ro yes. Robin Van Persie. Robin Van Persie. Oh. I made that two all. Is that oh. right? Two all. Right. All to play for for the last few. What do you see? Say what you see. Shout it out. Sk Wayne Rooney. Wayne, Wayne Rooney! Rooney. Ah. Three, two to oh. Danny Mills going into the last two cards. Oh, this is, is this? very difficult. 3-2 Danny Mills currently. Oh, oh, Look at this. Oh, oh. Yes, it is it, Phil. 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 That's, that's, what, what direction is that pointing in? Arrow, arrow, arrow. What direction is it pointing in? It's going like that. Right, 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 right. Right, Phil. Right, right, Phil. Right, Phil. Right, Phil. Right, right, Phil. 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 Right, <laughs> Family. That's it. What is that? Tin. 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 Yes, it is. What are they? They're cats and dogs. Yeah. What, what do you call dogs. cats and dogs? Dogs. Pets. 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 Yes, Pets. Right. That's your. Family. Tin. The mum is a. Uh... Pets. Yeah. Your mum is your. Yeah, yeah. Your mum. Your mum. Your mum. Martin. <laughs> what is it? Martin. Petrov. Martin Petrov. Oh, Petro. Petro. oh, oh my oh, goodness. Give it up to Danny Mills and. <laughs> King in the studio for West Ham United versus Spurs. Well excited about that one, aren't you? Yes, should be a good show. Yeah. But finishing the show now is our good comedian and musician friend performing an ode to Manchester Derby song. It's Matt Hudson! <laughs> Derby days arrive with all its bragging rights and tough to take defeats. Another opportunity for City to fill up those empty seats. Maybe another six ones on the cards turning Manchester sky blue. Or will it be a nil-nil draw with less impact than Roque Santa Cruz? 
My pet Guardiola be the victim of Mourinho's acetone Or will United fall flat on their face Just like a dive from Ashley Young Will they match up to Charlton, Keane and Cantona, Bell, Summers, B and Lee? Or will they fall apart and crack, just like our finger Harlan's knee? Will City leave triumphant victors, heads held high on and off the pitch? With nearly as much self-esteem between them as Ibrahimovic And sure United have a battle on their hands to reach the top four But at least they won't be relegated again by a goal from Dennis Law Will Aguero slip past Daily Blind and make sure that De Gea's left for dead? Just like when Gary Neville let Sean go to have a free shot at Bartes. Might Rooney score one of the greatest scissor kicks the world has ever seen? While United fans sing all the way from Manchester back home to Milton Keynes. <laughs> <laughs>